life as a black man Tell me what's harder than that I ain't speaking bars, I'm speaking on facts And just cause I'm black, don't know I react Think about Pac, yeah, I think about Malcolm Messed up cause they had the same outcome Made it this far, yeah, we did it without them Imagine if they never did stop them Uh, 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 uh slave on the track Reparations, yeah, I need that And if I can't get it, you know what Might as well just bling back Wall Street back I'm thinking about Malcolm Messed up cause they had the same outcome Made it this far, yeah, we did it without them Imagine if they never did stop them What's the deal? It's your boy Beano, man, and I want to thank everybody for tapping in the G and G podcast, man. That's Gangster and Gentleman podcast. And today, man, we got sports talk, man. We jumping it off with the sports talk, man. I gotta shout out my Boston Celtics, man. You already know how we giving it up. You dig what I'm saying? Shout out that boy Tatum on that fifty one banger on them boys. In that third quarter, outscored thirty three to ten. Tatum fires away, pumps it in! 51 for Jason Tatum! You dig what I'm saying? So that means we're up against the Heat. You dig what I'm saying? For the, yeah, you know I mean, Eastern Conference Championship, man. We got to hold this down. We got to get to the finals, and we got to do what we got to do. On the other side, man, they got LeBron, man. He's chasing this ring. He's chasing a ring. LeBron, I see you, boy. You trying to chase that ring coming off the most points. I see you. You dig? But they got this boy, Jokic, the Joker, and the whole Denver Nuggets. They are not messing around, people. They are not messing around. No slouches there, man. That's going to be a great series. I can't wait to see how they wrap that up, man. And hopefully, and yes, hopefully, they're going to be playing my Boston Celtics in the finals. You dig what I'm saying? And that should be a great one. But like the people always trying to say, let's make it legendary. The ratings, Lakers versus Celtics, Lakers versus Celtics. I don't really care. Long as it's the Celtics. You dig what I'm saying? So, that's how I feel about that. But now I got to get into some real news, man. I'm disappointed, man. Actually, I'm not even disappointed. I can't even say I'm disappointed. Scratch that, man. I'm not even disappointed because people are going to do what they're going to do. And you already know I'm about to talk about that boy, John Morant, man. Memphis Grizzly star John Morant has been suspended for a second time after once again appearing to flash a gun on social media. It shows Morant with what appears to be a handgun while he's riding in a friend's car. The Grizzly said they were aware of the video and suspended Morant from all team activities pending league review. In March, Morant was suspended for eight games after he was seen holding a gun inside a nightclub on Instagram Live. A representative for Morant did not immediately respond to requests for comment. I just said earlier this year, yo, he reminds me of like a, a, a times two Steve Francis. If you're from my era, you remember Steve Francis? I, re- I think he had that Steve Francis, but just like a little more oomph because he had, I, mean, I I can't call it. He's on the Steve Francis wave. You dig what I'm saying? But on the streets wave, on these streets, bro, bro, my pops called me and had a 30-minute conversation like you was my homie. Dad, I don't, dad, I don't know why he did that. Dad, what you, you feel me? I'm talking to my pop. My pop's like, yo, man, your man is like, what, what, he did it twice too, dad. And I'm like, I'm like, yo, dad, I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? I got two sons. They seen it. They like, well, what, why? You know what I mean? Well, like, what would, it, did he, ha- he got, he got a problem with somebody? Is he just not being smart? No, son, he's not being smart. First of all, don't play with guns. You dig what I'm saying? Don't play with the guns. If you got a gun, responsibly be a gun owner. And if you ever outgrow the universal firearm safety rules, you've outgrown my fellowship, and I'm not going to shoot with you because you're all kinds of jacked up. That's the first thing. But you got away with, I ain't going to say you got away with, but they, they let you slide on the first one, bro. And that's... A big thing in the NBA, bro. Like, you you don't know how you just saved your life, but then you did it again? 
I mean, ain't that much music in the world that gonna make you pull out no hammer for no reason, bro? I understand. I know who you was listening to, and you, yeah, you know I mean, it, you just going. Why are you pulling out the hammer though? Self defense, the hammer, bro. That's crazy, my guy. Like, man, fumble a bag. And like only thing I can say is you trying to get out of Memphis, you trying to go, you trying to get out of the league. Like you 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 trying to get out the league, bro. You trying to you trying to be the next Stephon Marbury out there in China. I I mean, I can't call it. And then it's like you can't even blame the people around you. Cause they ain't even pulling out the guns. I can see if every video you the only one without the gun, and they like, damn, dog, you, you, your peoples is wildin'. But you got the him out, bro. I mean, if you if you about that life and you in the wild wild west like that, bro, then I guess. But for me, I don't get it. Kind of weird. I don't know, like, bro, that is wild. Like, who do you got to impress? You don't want to impress the street guy because the street guy will come check you. You you trying to impress him? You're not impressing your employees or your employer, rather. Who? who what's the satisfaction? I was young. I'm still young, but I was young. Wilding, but... Everybody, everybody that I know that was out in the streets and we was wilding, you didn't really know we had the hammer until it was too late. <laughs> like, you re- you might, you know what I mean? You didn't know until it was, might, it might have been too late. So, I'm going to pray for you, your family, your situation. But my God, at the end of the day, I want you to win, but I got to win. I got to win. We going to win. What's the deal, man? It's your boy, Beano, man. If you're rocking with Gangsta and Gentleman Podcast, I need you to go to Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Matter of fact, we're on all of podcast platforms. And if you're willing and dealing on your iPhone or your Android, make sure you check us out on our social medias, man. We on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You know the name, Gangsta and Gentleman Podcast.